Well, good morning, my friends. It is a Saturday morning, and it is not even 8.30, and I am going to share with you an organizing project that I am going to do. So, this particular cupboard right here, and this is where I keep my coffee. Um, normally, my coffee pot is right here, and then, as you can see, I've got all my mugs. Um, there's a little print on the side. It's actually a card. And it says all you need is love and good and, and a good cup of coffee. Um, that is from the company Lily and Val. It's a hand lettering chalkboard company. Um, and I had initially thought that I would frame that, so I just kept that there. Um, and okay, so this part of my cupboard has functioned quite well for me. Um, we have all of our well, these aren't all of them, but the, we have six white mugs that all match so these are kind of for like when company comes over and then on the bottom these are um all the mugs that are sort of seasonal or that are just everyday mugs so um i usually reach for a mug out of this area um and then we have just one anymore just one travel cup our bottom and then the coffee pot is up there and then at the very top i've got these um, they're mason jars and they came with straws um, and chalkboard labels and I <laughs> they would not fit in my drink cu um, cup cupboard so they have just lived up there and then I have this random batter bowl um, again it, this wouldn't fit in my baking cupboard but I love this bowl I don't want to get rid of it but here it sits because I don't really know where to put this stuff so I'm going to share with you my drink glass covered and I'm sorry this is all really off the cuff um, I was making coffee and I realized this is not functioning as well as I want it to and neither is my drink covered so let me show you that real quick okay so this cupboard is my drink cupboard and as I thought about it it makes no sense this cupboard being right here um, we let's see if I'll pan you around without making you sick <laughs> um, the fridge is over here and the drink cupboard is here and we drink our water from a Brita um, it's just filling up right now so it makes it this cupboard just makes no sense but this is originally where I had our drinks our glasses when we initially set up our house so it seemed to make perfect sense here and it's a small cupboard and I don't have a ton of glasses um, so this is just what the cupboard looks like, kind of all mismatched, um, and I don't like that. I'm very matchy-matchy. Um, so this sh uh, cupboard can only hold three cups deep, and I've got four of each type. So these are from the dollar store, and they kind of say old-fashioned on it. And then these are from the dollar store as well. And I have four of each type, but I can't, it only holds like nine glasses. So I have one random one in the back, and then more random things up here, mason jars. It's just, it drives me nuts, and I don't like it. And the very top shelf, um, as you can see, it's a little different. It doesn't have the stripping on the front, and it wasn't cut properly. So it's on an angle, so it tilts which is why I didn't want my glass mason jars up there because I didn't want them to slide out and onto the floor and break. So my thought is, is that I'm gonna move some of my cabinets around and make our glasses function better. I am not really sure what's gonna go here. Um, it's such a tiny little cabinet. I don't know, it's early. I haven't had my coffee yet. You can hear it percolating. We're gonna figure this out. Okay, so here's where I am bit of a fail at this point. Um, so I've moved the glasses and the mugs into one cupboard. This was initially my Tupperware cupboard. And I moved the Tupperware over here. Um, and it's it's not quite working. <laughs> um, it fits fine, except um, that I still have a lot of glasses to bring over. And I have all of my mugs and things and I need to put my coffee pot up. I don't like having it on my counter. I like my counters, I mean, I decorate my counters. 
This is all still left over from Christmas. I haven't decided what I'm going to do here. Um, but I generally like to decorate my counters. But I also like them to be free and clear of space. So generally I like to have from the sink down to over here clear to have some good work surface. So I don't want my coffee pot on the counter. So at this point <laughs> I'm thinking that I might switch back to where it was and move the cups back over here. I don't know. I'm, I'm sort of torn. I'm scratching my head. I'm not really sure. But this is the point where I'm at, just trying to figure things out. Okay, so here's where I am at this point. The top row has stayed the same. The middle row, I have, I uh, found this shelf that I was using elsewhere in the house that um, it just, it didn't really need to be used. So I brought it in here. I've put the shorter glasses underneath, all four across. And then the taller ones on top and then we have a few we have three glasses that kind of um, don't match uh, and they're a little bit larger my husband sometimes still likes to drink out of those so I've just set them on the side now down here on the bottom I've kept the coffee mugs the same two are missing because it's morning and we're having coffee um, I have another one of these water glasses this is what I like to drink my water from um, so I have this one in front and I have one more so it'll go right here it's sturdy obviously um, and then in the back these are the other glasses that I like to drink water from um, the red is a little shocking to me um, in my very neutral sort of palette <laughs> um, but they they're fantastic and big for water so I've got three of them um, and they are right here um, we don't have a lot of travel mugs. Uh, we just, we like these Starbucks um, mugs that you can get for like one or two dollars. And um, we used to have three, and now we're down to one. So I'm not really sure where they are, where they have to pick some up. And that's kind of the beauty of these stupid things is that, you know, if they get lost somewhere, it's just a buck or two and it's no big deal. So anyways, um, my husband also has one travel mug. It's probably in his car. Um, so that will go behind these and then I just have one more water glass back there I don't usually use that because I'm usually using these larger cups but I do have it uh, in case I don't know we have company or you know I happen to have all of the dishes dirty which is very rare but goodness knows it could happen so anyways that is what this cupboard is looking like I raised and lowered this shelf about three times Initially, I was going to try and put the coffee pot right here. I had to raise the uh, shelf up by two notches, which was going to make this very high up. And with so much glassware, I didn't want things to get bumped and to, it for it to be, you know, just too far out of reach. So, um, I had initially thought that I would keep the coffee pot back up on this shelf. That's where it originally had been. Um, it just, but the glassware wouldn't fit, and it just really makes more sense to have the glassware here uh, as opposed to in the other cupboard. So anyways, I ultimately decided that somewhere this little cheapy deepy little coffee pot is going to be set up here on my counter. I need to rearrange things um, from Christmas. I don't know. I'm not super duper happy about it, but it is what it is. So that is this cupboard. I <laughs> I'd taken everything out of my Tupperware cupboard and I ended up putting it back. This cupboard is just a slight bit smaller than the coffee cup cupboard. So things were not going to fit. Um, I was going to have to put this on the next shelf and things were just it just wasn't gonna fit um, and this system works so completely well for me that I didn't want to mess it up um, so we chose to just keep it where it is okay so I finished my organizing project and this is the former cup cupboard it's so tall all the way pretty much to the ceiling um, and let me show you what I did so I ended up putting in the coffee pot I just couldn't stomach having it on my counter. It's just it's just my way. Um, perhaps at another point I will have it on, but 
I just figured, you know what, let's put it over here. Um, it, again, this isn't where I usually brew coffee, so it is a bit out of the way. However, it's an accessory that I use for just a few minutes during the day, clean it up, and put it back. Um, now, I also put the bottom here, and then I have one large mason jar that I will use sometimes for um, Trim Healthy Mama drinks. So the one thing that I did was I made sure to put the bottom over here by the handle so that when I'm pulling this out in the morning, I'm not catching it on this. Um, we don't use our bottom really anymore. Um, it's there. Um, my husband and his one friend really like to have um, French press coffee, but the friend doesn't come over all that much. So we just end up using the large pot. So um, it's easy just to slide in and out. Um, I've got the pot that I still need to wash. I'm in the middle of washing dishes right now. So this is just kind of a rough look at everything. Um, up above, I placed that blue mixing bowl. And that works really well right here, actually, because this is the area that I do a lot of um, cooking and my prep work. Um, I've got the rest of my mixing bowls over here in this cupboard and I do have a video sharing with you how I organize this corner cupboard so I can link that and then the shelf on top it is free and clear we don't have anything up there now um, funny thing I had to raise this shelf here and as I was doing so I realized that this top shelf was just on an angle because the pegs were put in incorrectly um, one peg was a little bit higher than the others and so that's why everything was sliding um, my husband had put it up and he's very fastidious so I just assumed it was right um, but it wasn't <laughs> so I am able to put something up there but at this point I just really don't have anything so uh, for now this is the way things work and it's just amazing to me that by doing a little bit of organizing I have a whole extra shelf that I uh, didn't have previously. Now the only th two things that didn't get put back in the cupboard was this glass and we never ever ever use it. So this will likely just go to Goodwill. Um, no sense in hanging on to a glass we never use. And then I have one extra blue mason jar. So in my pantry I do um, a lot of, um, I decant a lot of things into mason jars. And this is just one extra that I have, so I can probably just make some space in there, or um, I'll just stick it probably behind this blue bowl, because um, obviously I'm not using it, and I don't really have um, a need for it right now. So anyways, that is my organizing project. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this Saturday morning. Um, I did this in the midst of making a big breakfast and doing dishes and having coffee and hanging out with my family. So a simple little project that gained us another shelf of space and made our kitchen function a whole lot better. I hope you guys have a really great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and haven't yet subscribed, I would love it if you would hang out with us a little bit longer here on my channel. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.